Today we're talking about the Dispo Lens. It costs $70 and it gives you a feeling and character of a old disposable film camera. And if you look at it, you can see it is really, really tiny. It's basically a body cap with a lens in the middle. Now the lens comes from an old disposable 35mm Kodak camera that the guy from Dispo Lens basically takes apart, puts inside the 3D printed body cap that he's made it's it's actually really nice it's very well put together and that's it that's it there's nothing else to it there's no aperture there's no focus you take it out turn your camera on take a photo much like old school disposable cameras now they were a lot of fun and you're bringing that character that feeling the image quality over onto a digital camera now with this lens now i bought this myself about four or five months ago, and I've been using it since then, on and off, and I've got to tell you, it's been a lot of fun, because I don't have to think, and sometimes after a hard day of thinking, uh, as a YouTuber, I take this out, and I'm just like, doo, 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 doo. and it's that fun. I love that it's so small, it's so streamlined, that I can put it in my pocket, and I don't have to care, especially on a camera like the Sony ZV-E1. Now it comes in a variety of lens mounts, so you've got Fuji X, Sony E, the Canon RF, like M, Nikon Z, you can buy it as a DIY kit for someone as a present, which is fun. That's a little bit more expensive because it's not $70, it's $86. You can buy a triple lens mount, which is $94. And you can actually buy one to print yourself um, as a pinhole camera body cap. So basically you print it and then you put a pin through it and you can take photos with a really cool look and feeling to it. Now, different lenses give different looks and characteristics and quality of image. This really does make me feel like I'm taking photos of an old disposable camera. And I like it. It's a breath of fresh air sometimes after you've been using a really clinical lens to just put this on, go out and just take photos. Now it hasn't got incredible minimum focus, much like the old camera. So if you're taking a selfie, it's not gonna be really sharp and the photos generally aren't going to be really sharp and they're not going to have good chromatic aberration. They're not going to have good sharpness in the corner. Vignetting is going to be off the charts, but that's not the point. The point is the character you're creating with this lens. I'm not going to show you any scientific tests or anything. We're basically now going to jump into the photos that I've been taking with this lens over the course of time that I've had it. Bought with my own money, by the way, from Dispo Lens on the Etsy store they have you can find a link down below and buy it yourself and uh, yeah let's get into those and you guys can tell me what you think right so for all you pixel peepers out there the corners are a little bit murky they're soft but the center is surprisingly sharp it isn't sony gm sharp but it's sharp it's got a nice sharp center that you like the edges are soft though but it's part of the character right here are some photos of Wuch, Poland. It's the city where I live and reside every day, and that's my son. If you get a little bit too close, it's not sharp. But if you're about 50 centimeters away, you're gonna get some nice, sharp shots. There is a lot of distortion, don't get me wrong. There is a lot of flaring, and the flaring is very Kodak-like, but I really do like the vibe of these shots. They have a certain retro quality to them on digital footage. Now all these shots range between 200 and 6400 ISO and the shutter speed was fast enough to get all these nice and sharp. I do like the funny distortion, I do like the softness on the edges, I do like the fact that it's a little bit blown out in some places it even adds a bit of glow it's like I have a mist on especially in low light situations any light sources will bloom which adds a kind of 80s feel to it all in all a really fun lens that gives a really nice character so yeah that that's it it's tiny it's fun the photos had a cool look to them, right? I mean, just just with this, nothing else. I am interested in the pinhole lens. I'm interested in the um, triple lens, though that could be a little bit too freaky for me. But it might come in handy for some situations. But the pinhole lens could be fun. But generally this, 
with the tiny little lens from a disposable camera is a whole load of fun. And like I said, there is no focus, there's no aperture, there is no thinking. It's basically taking a photo and that's it. And in actual fact, it's a lot more difficult to take a photo with this to make something look good than it is with a lens like this or an 85mm because everything, more or less, from a certain distance is in focus. So you have to kind of be on your feet for the photo to have a certain look and quality to look good. But on the other hand, it's a candid photo lens. You know, you just... You're going to use it for what you want to use it for. And I'm using it for street photography because it's just, you know, it's that convenient to have. And I can take it anywhere with me instead of the actual Sony body cap. Just have it on there. It's not going to, you know, make my bag any heavier because I think it actually could be a little bit lighter than the Sony body cap. So I take it with me out on my travels, out anywhere I go, instead of a lens or with a lens, but I've always got it with me so I can get that quality and style that it offers. This bow lens, I think you make really cool stuff and um, I've had fun with this. So I hope you keep on going, creating and, you know, adding more interesting things to your store. If you guys did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and ring that bell because it really does help my channel. There are going to be lots more lenses coming as we go.